November is Turkey Drive Month, so Rachel and I are here to represent Graces for Change, the leadership group that heads up the fundraising efforts for Turkey Drive. Cody is tied in pretty closely, so we'll cover that too. Upcoming Turkey Drive events include donating to the Class Star competition on the 2nd through the 8th. Dollars donated decrease from the total and coins add, so stuff the class jar with dollar bills. The winning class's administrator will dress up like a turkey. Bring a dollar to attend the Turkey Drive kickoff assembly on the 9th, where we'll have games and class challenges. Class attendance wins Cody points. Last year, Northwest donated 349 turkeys, 1,212 canned food side items, and $350, earning second place in the district. Let's beat these numbers and reclaim first prize. The 7th through the 10th, you can order pumpkins in the commons that you will have the opportunity to decorate on the 14th through the 16th during advocacy. On the 10th, Cody points will be up for grabs for attendance at Stepping Into College Assembly. Two WSU students will be presenting on the transition from high school to college as all grades are welcome to attend during advocacy. Pumpkin bread, hot chocolate, and coffee will all be for sale in the commons the 14th through the 17th before school. You can donate cans of food for the turkey drive before school in the commons the week of the 14th. On the 18th, bring turkeys, monetary donations, or canned goods. One turkey, $15, or 15 canned goods count as a free tardy pass. Make sure to bring your ID. Your donations will give those going through difficult times the opportunity to enjoy a special family meal. Before we get out of school for Thanksgiving, watch the seniors square off against the faculty in a volleyball game to benefit project graduation on the 18th. Cody points will be awarded for coming out to shop till you drop at the Educators Rising shopping event on the 19th. After we get back from Thanksgiving break, support your favorite college gear on the 30th for Cody points. That covers it for Cody and Turkey Drive. Now to Haley for the YE News. November 3rd, 4th, 9th, and 10th are Youth Entrepreneurs Market Days. During both lunch periods, tables will be set up around the commons where your peers will be selling food from your favorite restaurants like Chick-fil-A, Buffalo Wild Wings, and many more. Be sure to bring your money and support the YE students. The teams get to keep their profit and compete to see who sells the most. Now on to Miles, who will tell us about DECA Month. The month of November is DECA Month. DECA is an organization for students interested in different aspects of business. We attend leadership conferences and compete in business-related tests, role plays, and projects. Be sure to follow our Twitter and Instagram for social media challenges this month with numerous prizes. Information about Kansas DECA Day on November 15th will also be on our social media pages. There will be a big celebration that day for Kansas DECA Month. That's all for now about DECA. Now to Abby with sports. Winter sports, including basketball, wrestling, and boys swimming will be starting soon. Uh, tryouts begin Monday, November 14th. Bowling tryouts will be November 5th through the 8th. If you want to participate in a winter sport, make sure you have your physical and concussion form on file with the athletic director, Mr. Deckinger, before coming to tryouts. Back to Haley for schedule info. It's time to take a close look at your second semester schedule. Changes need to be made before the last day of first semester. Requests considered appropriate would include a missing class or blank period in schedule, a class you've already taken or is a duplicate, a class for which you don't have the prerequisite, a class is needed for graduation. Requests for the following reasons do not justify a change. Withdrawal from an AP course, teacher or block preference, request to be with friends or family, changing mind. Fill out a blue slip in the counseling office to be called in to discuss changes. No changes will be made after the start of second semester. Plan ahead. Now on to Ms. Sunquist. Hi everyone. There's only six weeks till the end of first semester. These grades from first semester will go on your transcript and follow you on to college applications. Make the most of the time remaining. Remember, every minute counts. Consider this. Attendance has a direct correlation to grades. Notice on this chart comparing each class that the blue bar represents the number of students worth two or more D's or one or more F's. The red bar represents the number of students that are chronically absent. Chronic absence is determined as missing 10% of class time or four days during first quarter alone. You can see that nearly all of our students that are considered chronically absent are the same ones that have D's and F's. Every absence, whether excused or not, impacts your potential for success. Optimum educational benefit and personal growth depend solely on regular class attendance. 
Next, it is important to know where we are relative to behavior data. To begin this year, we had a goal to decrease the number of incidents by 5% from last year. At this point, we've had 425 incident referrals for first quarter that are broken out by the grade, as you can see. If you look at the next slide, you'll see our data line this year is turquoise and coming in lower than in the past two years. It is looking like meeting our goal is possible, but we need everyone on board. By focusing on academics, everyone will be able to make better decisions. Now, to wrap it up, I send it back to our student ambassadors. That's, That's it for the November PSA. It's, it's a short, short month, but, but very busy. busy. Let's, Let's make, make the most of it. Until, Until next time, time, this is Emerson, Rachel, Haley, Miles, and Abby. Go, Go Grizzlies! Grizzlies.